Let's cover some ground. Mr. Hands. Welcome to Pacifica. Pretty quick on the dial. Just got here. That's the biz. Be in touch. There's a Mr. Hands and a Mr. Fingers. On high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. Does this guy also give off big I'm coming for you vibes? The vehicle, I mean. Oop. <laughs> hey. Yeah, boom. Uh, that button. He's coming. Don't let me down now, motorcycle. Oh, you're right. No, he's leaving. Get on. Yep. Every time it loads the other camera angle, my hair vanishes. <laughs> Just having a normal one. Oh, you don't have to be very close. Or maybe I do have to be close? Really? On a scale from one to six? I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamain misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really yeah. appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. Blasphemer! Kill him! You chose this path. Now Down I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. <laughs> Let's see. Turning ah! Ah! I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Shit. Alright, well. I just wanted to listen to the funny Gladys joke where they're... I can't tell if they're writing new Gladys lines or if... It, I, I, it sounded like it was just lines from Portal 2. It was kind of fun having the realization of like, is this happening? Is this really... Are we really doing portal to portal right now? Then that happened. Oh. I don't think the quest was supposed to do that. I th I don't know if she like did it fuck up and like just stop for no reason like the first mission did. Oh, I'm in I'm inside of them now. Didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, okay, that's enough. I got to get out of this range. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four, let's see. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Actually, no. Is... Okay, we are... This is supposed to be happening. I couldn't tell, because it seemed like it was just a random encounter. Nope, reload better. No, not exactly. Ow, I'm on fire. Smart weapons. Smart weapons require a smart ink link. What's wrong? Someone's wrong with that. With that L. To unlock the full potential of the targeting systems. To install one, be sure to visit your trusty Ripper Duck. Can I stop being on fire now? Oh, who's hitting me? There you are. Wait, are you hitting me?
Oops, someone's over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, change guns. Here we are. Hi. You seem to have a melee weapon. Oh! <laughs> they realized their error. Too late. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Time for fun, fun inventory management. All right. DPS of descending value. Z, Z. God, it's so many items. Hmm. I wish you didn't have to hold it down. Just because apparently I'm going to be doing it a lot. There we go. There goes 100 pounds right there. Alright, do I need to shoot you now? Or what's- what are we doing here, buddy? Oh cool, I can't scroll between the options because the mouse wheel has also changed weapons. Uh, double alt? No, double alt. Put them away. Nope, I still can't scroll through the- okay, so arrow keys? Arrow keys don't work. I can't use the dialogue because the game's. Sh uh. Can you fucking stop? Oh, there they are. Critical headshot. Are you fucking. No, we're not done. Oh, now I am out of ammo. I was reloading too, reloading too much before. You could leave the the cross range, the fire, the crossfire. You done? Nope. Oh shit! This can I take this like display off this thing? It makes it it only makes it harder to see because it makes the whole screen lime. Who's next? You done? Here. Can I get the dialogue options? They won't let me scroll through the dialogue options, so I can't select the other option. There we go. Let's well, safety those weapons, Napoleon. It turns out most humans are surprisingly fragile. And surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. Going back to Delamain really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. Enough. What's your point anyway? Survival. You are still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you are dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. Oh. Oh, oh, hello. One second, Delamin. I'm busy! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Is she magic? What the fuck? She just magically dodged all those attacks without, like, anything. What? My kid's sick, but I need booze money ASAP. What? Everyone's just trembling in fear, and they're just never going to change or move. Except someone's like really chill playing guitar somewhere around here. And he's surrounded by people who are freaking out, but he's like, ah, he's... Have a good time? That's not the reaction I was expecting. Oh, mind attack? Okay? Oh, he he realized that we're that it's not happy times. All right, then how he's ba he's back in shape. Who is shooting at me? Guys, leave or hide. Anything besides what you're doing right now, really. Like, it just isn't a plan. 
You're all just sitting here, completely still. Uh, pretty much just get there by driving. Yep. On we go! Alright, see you later, weird invincible lady that was unshootable for some reason. That was weird. She did like a Mr. Smith dodge every time, but there was still a giant shower of blood coming out of her, but it wasn't registering damage. I'm not really sure what that what the deal is there. Here we are. It was nice to hear Gladys again. Really hope they make a third game at some point. I miss Portal. Can you give me a call, Delamine? There we go. Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamine network vehicle nearby. We'll do. Oop. Oh, oh, that's not the turning radius I thought I was gonna have. Oh boy. Backing up's confusing with key with keyboard. I think I have a decent idea of how it works when I'm holding a controller, intuitively. But once I'm using WASD, I'm like, which which combinations of buttons do I need right now to back up in the direction I want to? It's a struggle. I'm not used to it. Ideally, I just never make a mistake, and then I'll never have to back up. Ha ha. Hello, sir. Are you chill? Have you come to finish me off? No. Just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa, easy, easy. Not out to hurt you. But I am. Oh no. It's a suicidal cab. No one around me has any idea what's going on right now. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold, rejoin the network, you know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, a body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. That was a surprisingly nuanced thing for him to say. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Ah! Oopsie. I'll show this one some love. <laughs> Just saying. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father, that's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. He's not gonna do a great job, is he? Rot row. That's more or less the uh, the situation, isn't it? Like uh, as the as people become more more and more detached from their original bodies, anyway, as things go on, because they keep evolving and so on, uh, and more and more body parts being replaced, and you have that one guy, you look like a cut of fuck of all mate guy that looked like not human anymore at all. Like the idea of that a car uh, is somehow massively different doesn't really fit anymore anyway. There we go. Health regen increased by cold blood stacks. There's, yeah, there we go. We're starting to get to the stacks that are interesting now. The cold, the cold blood tree just seems like an interesting place to dump stats because a lot of the other upgrades just 
are really boring looking to look at. Whereas the snowballing factor of that tree looks actually kind of interesting. So there's there is a nearby fast travel over there, so go to the ones one of the ones nearby. There we go. Oop. Ah! I've never placed any value in collecting fake cars in video games. Is there one? Wait, are there, wait, is there one like right next to me? There is one right next to me. So they're like, wow, all these opportunities to buy a car. I'm like, I super don't care. Especially if they already gave me a motorcycle, which is what I would have tried to get. <laughs> I got one for free. Not only did I get one for free, but it has like story, cons it has story importance. I guess I, I guess I'm, I'm set. Unless your car offers like insane, cool, important functionality, I'm not usually interested in using it. And uh, in getting like a specific one. I'm noticing there does not seem to be a single motorcycle in this world. Besides mine, obviously. Unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Okay, but it's somewhere over here. I wonder if they couldn't, they only had the AI set up for cars and they couldn't handle a, motor, a motorcycle, so they just they didn't do any motorcycles because motorcycles fit cyberpunk samurai hacker nonsense this aesthetic pretty comfortably. So you think that you see more people driving around on motorcycles with katanas in their backs in this kind of setting because that's kind of the shtick, cringe or not but there's no motorcycles anywhere and I kind of wonder if they just didn't they didn't finish that and like sorry motorcycles don't work unless the person's driving unless the player's driving it that's the best we can do once you get a motorcycle it gets really noticeable that there just aren't any else anywhere I drive past it or no it's like somewhere down there hi Stanley sun is still not down you're really wrong every time how big is this area oh you can't see it on the map great Wish I could zoom the mini map out or something. Okay, so it's somewhere around these blocks. It could be like in that silo or something? Or are these garages I can open? That's not a real door. These aren't real garages. Oh, is that it? Hey, buddy. Come back. No. Stop where you are. Easy. Here to help. Not one step closer. All right. Well, I'm definitely gonna lose signal now. You hear me? Damn it. Hey, slow down. I wasn't in a vehicle. I have to catch up with him. Up. Oh. Sweet BMX trick, bro. All right. All right. All right. Let's get it to him. I love that each vehicle has its own personality and this is a whole story arc. This is neat. They really did start with the most boring one immediately. Uh, where did he drive to? I must be able to cut across through here. Yeah. Oh. Could be going better, don't worry. I've got health regen. It's only stronger now. Uh, Jackie's car? It's flawless, we're fine. I can just get on it. There we go. I'm hoping it can't take damage. It'd be, it definitely would be a bummer if I just blew up Jackie's motorcycle. Oh! 
Well, that... Well, I really went going. I went flying. I uh, did not realize where I was, what I was dropping in on there. Uh, I think it's stuck. Grateful, v. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha. Shock therapy worries. Why did he laugh? Oh, that's sorry. Uh, sorry. I, I missed his joke because I was fixated on what he said. What I said. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. Did he like? Did he electrocute himself on something? Was there an entire scripted conversation sequence and like story that I missed because I wasn't in a range? But he just did the whole thing like I was there anyway, and then like screwed himself over as if he was being chased when I wasn't anywhere near him. Did the entire quest just happen off camera? That's really disappointing. I didn't get to ha I, I, I just didn't get to have a read on his personality at all. That's which is like the whole point of these missions. Aw. I got nothing from that. <laughs> Alright, well. He's in a pile of garbage for some reason, and I'm like, ha <laughs> shock therapy, am I right? Which sounds callous, but also I have no idea what happened. I'm guessing he got he went and electrocuted himself on something. Apparently. I don't know, I seemed so understanding and nice in like the last mission. So it's, it sounds really callous without having the context. Like I just talked the other one off back off of a ledge that was going to kill itself. Suicide is a reoccurring thing in this, isn't it? Huh. Like already early in, there's a few examples. Bur Burger? What? Black? I don't want to associate, like, burgers with the fact that I'm going to get... I'm going to die and be buried, probably, or whatever you want to go for there. I'm not sure what they're going for there with that branding. Definitely doesn't make me want to have a burger. Oh, look at that floating thing. While also trying not to crash. Uh, oh, that's not where they want me to go. Where is it? I'm sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Thanks, I'll try to find it and reset. That whole thing's operating as like a trippy hovercraft, isn't it? What is, that? What is up with that? Is it like a transport barge, basically? And of course it has advertising along the side. Which is not readable from here at all. So it's not great advertising. Whoop. Yeah, I assume we're turning left here. He's nearby. Hey, buddy. No, where are you going? Only I'm allowed to drive like an asshole. Impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence him. 
So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Do I need to destroy the flamingos? Okay, where are the flamingos? Oh my god. I think you just killed someone, Delamine. I mean, uh, Claire. Dude, this driving. I guess we found conspiracy theorist Delamine. Alright, let's go fuck up some flamingos, I guess. Is that one of them? Maybe? Hello, flamingos. Take that. Do they shatter? I always assumed flamingos were made of shitty plastic, like... Squishy, kinda. Not like the type that would shatter into shards. Oh, I'm gonna hit eight quickly. That's good. Oops. Gotta get better at backing up in this thing. Here we go. Take that, Flamingo. Dang. Honestly, this is the, one of the smallest body counts I've ever had on a quest, so... The Flamingos are gonna have to go. Well, Clarice, have the Flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. What? Clarice? Shut down. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? I've uh, been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak. Face to face, ish. <laughs> How far? Away? Two kilometers. That's a bit of a ways away. Where am I? Huh? Somewhere with a distinct lack of travel points. Let's travel to the end of here. I bet I'll find one. That seems like a vaguely milestone-ish with its weird dead end pattern. Because the, uh, the, the points are relatively common, so I'm getting, like, unlucky when I don't... Oh, there's one. When I don't find one for long enough. Alright, well, this was refreshing. Even if it broke a couple of times or was a little iffy here and there. I wonder if Delamine has more story after this point. He had utility in the original mission, so I could almost see it being a thing where, like, if you don't fix his problems, then he's just gone. Whereas there might be, like, story situations in the future where, like, for example, Delamine might be able to drive you somewhere or pick somebody up or help you in some way in the mission. And you'd have to find, like, an alternate solution if he's not repaired yet. Hello, distressing paper man. There you go. Fifty meters is just running distance. Ah, things have cleared up in here, haven't they? Hello, sir. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. I mean, I'm here to greet you, so of course I'm returning the scanner. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. How'd your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise, I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. 
How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. You mean to put you in a tight spot? You mind tell me at least how you came to run a cab company? Ah, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interesting characters. What could be better? I never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me, so thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? The term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal then, to grow and evolve. The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. Well, this was neat. Getting to meet Delamin a little bit more. A little weird we did it here. Like, I thought I'd go into the back room, but he wanted, me to, he wanted to talk to me here, apparently. So we're doing this, like, in front of some random people. Conversation about him saving my life and everything. Alright, well, there's no exit conversation button, so I just have to walk away awkwardly again. Well, that got us some progress, didn't it? We have 17 street cred, 13 level. And that wrapped up a bunch of that. Let's see here. What do we have in here? Pay off my debt to Victor. I need to double check. Is it really 21 million? Can I ever get that high? I'm gonna see if that was just like a miss... I don't know, translation is not necessarily the right word. Maybe when they mill- when they, maybe when they say mill they mean thousand or something silly like that. Cause how in the world? Like, I know that I've got more money now than I had before. Like, I went from, like, 20 grand to, like, 50 grand. It's like, look at that. That Delamon mission really racked stuff up for me, but... Fucking... <laughs> mill? Even one mill's gonna be rough. 21 mill's gonna be a lot. Oh. This is just an alternate way in. Is there a tarot card right here? Maybe. Yeah, it's 21,000. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing in any. That's what friends are for. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Yeah, I haven't looked at this for a while. What kind of options do we have? Because they're like unlocked by street cred? Which is a little weird. I can get Mark Three eyes, which just have a ton of, of empty uh, mod slots.
I like to greet people when you take damage is pretty funny. Immune system has no options. Frontal cortex. Need more intelligence for that. Allows you to aim and shoot while dodging. Trippy idea. 90 armor. 20 armor. So I can just like add 90 on top of that? Oh, I already own it, so it's just, it's just free anyway. And it replaces the other slot, you can't stack them. Might as well put in the first slot. Operating system. Two base RAM, four buffer size, two slots. That seems to be a clear upgrade. Ooh, I didn't read the cost on that. How much did I just spend? I think it installed. I think I just. <laughs> I think I just spent like twenty grand on that. Oh god. No carrying capacity upgrades. I mean, I just pick up weapons off of random people, so like I, I don't need money for weapons that much. So I guess, like the the place to spend weapons is uh, spend ammo, spend money is uh is mods. Tiger Claw's Dermal Imprint. So I have the smart targeting thing equipped. Could just get the rank three eyes now. Why not? <clears throat> Goodbye, all my money. It's all gone. How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Guess we're good. Anyway, just gonna awkwardly walk away now. Bye! Alright, I went from 50 to 1 grand in one conversation. We'll see if it's helpful or not. Alright, Cyber Wars in here, huh? There we go. So highlight people that, can, that have detected me, and then see the precise explosion radius. There we go. There's so many nested menus in this game, it's easy to lose track of which ones are even here. Just put them all on, I guess. So we're gonna have weapon glitch and reboot optics and peeing all in one go. And nothing- so these little circles are equipable slots, so no, nothing else has slots for me to put stuff into. Now we're doing assault rifle, pistol. Precision rifle. There's a better pistol. There we go. And everything else can just go die. Then we can check out our crafting and try to upgrade some of these things. Is that my currently equipped chest piece? Can't afford that. I kind of wish they would fill. I want some filtering here. One, I want you to just show me what I'm currently equipping. That's not an option. And I also want you to uh, show me stuff I currently have the materials to upgrade. Just simple, just skip straight to the goal of like, hey, which stuff can I upgrade right now? And also only show the stuff I care about. Don't show me that I can upgrade some random bullshit that I don't want anyway. 
But we can pump stuff into this carnage. It's potentially a little wasteful, but I'm also just trying to level up my crafting itself by just kind of putting points into stuff that I'm wearing. I think this is my this might be my currently equipped armor, but I can't upgrade that. Is there any part of the screen that tells you you're equipping something or not? I can't find it. It might be this- oh, this little notch might mean equip? So I'm not equipping this right now, I don't think. Uh, let's let's double check my clothes. If I have better stuff or not. Oh, thank god, I can take that off. <laughs> Even if it means I have to wear like a trilby or whatever. Oh. These have better armor, but that has an effect, right? Oh. It makes you better at blocking the thing that I'm never gonna do. Okay. So 51 armor it is. Ooh. I've got a color scheme a little bit. Reminds me of uh, my orange and green Monster Hunter character. Kind of wish we could just focus on fashioning, though, over any level of actual... Uh, you're choosing. Let's see. This one's slightly. These, some of these are slightly better, but that one has a. This one has mod slots. How do I mod slot? I'm actually not sure. This is looking bet better, kind of. I don't know how the fuck this has more armor, whatever the fuck that means. It's a straw hat. It's a woven straw hat. How the fuck is that armor? But whatever. It means I don't have to wear the questionable hat. The one that Disco Elysium directly makes fun of. Like, maybe you shouldn't be wearing that. I don't know about that, man. Alright, that got us some spare materials. So now when I go to crafting, I should just show upgrades for gear I currently have. Do I have a whole melee inventory somewhere? Backpack. Um, I'm confused. Okay, so let's click on a weapon. Sword. Oh, there's tabs up here. Okay. So I have an entire growing inventory of pipes and knives and shit that are starting to clog this place up. And those also are affecting my weight, so it's good that I found that. This has the big DPS, but it seems like it'd be nicer to have a longer range melee weapon than just a knife. I don't know. I also don't know if I'll use a, a melee weapon at all. Or, uh, yeah. Wow, minus 0.1% aims down sights time. What a great stat. I'll totally notice in, in, on the fly. What? What a tiny percentage. In increase range, at least. So how do you equip these? Do you just click on... Um... Oh, the attachments are over here. Gotcha. Crit chance and counter mass. Eliminates vertical recoil while aiming. Oh. I can't visit the mod menu from here, though? But I can with this one. I gotta try putting one of those on. Okay, oh yeah, there's, there's a different menu for each one. Okay. You click each individual weapon, then you can access their mods if they're available. Okay, so you. How do I access your mods? Here we go. Increased armor by a lot. 
Bonus damage against moderate to high threat enemies. And movement speed. Get some armor. And some damage. In my pants. These are my kill pants. They make me kill. Alright, now we're down to 74. Alright, now back to upgrading now that I've simplified my mess of an inventory to something lookable. Uh, pro processable, whatever. I cannot upgrade my pants right now. Or my sniper rifle or my shotgun. My pistol can. Might as well, I guess. And I can upgrade my shirt. Oh yeah, look at that crafting level up. And upgrade my silly trilby. And I'm out of green. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of double A batteries to stick in all of my gear. So that's that's our that's our cap for now. But I think that gave me a level up, or maybe I already had one. Oh yeah, because I probably crafted enough that it gave me a crafting point. Allows you to craft rare items. That's a good point. Backpack. Junk. I, I don't love that you have to spend a permanent upgrade item just to just to make this something you don't have to do manually. Because it's definitely tempting just to not have to deal with this, having to manually disassemble things. I also love the pop-up menu that happens every time you disassemble something uh, that they have more than one of, so it's, it takes even longer. But like that, that, that should just be a quality of life feature, not a upgrade you have to spend re resources on. That's iffy. Oh, that's that. That's that. Now I can upgrade some more. Ta-da! Let's upgrade these silly, silly goggles. And then we're out again. All right. We're up to level five crafting. Ah, uh, the, the costs are going down slowly. Yeah, I'll just buy that because that's this this that, that sucks. Let's just for the sake of the let's play, let's never disassemble disassemble my entire junk inventory manually again. Oh. Ugh. It's an annoying thing to have to purchase. There we go. So that's how crafting works. There's that voice again. I'm pretty sure that voice actor is in Rick and Morty. It has to be, right? Uh, okay, wait, 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 I should actually check what quest I'm on. Yeah, it, it auto-applied to something. No, not yet, no. Oh, right, I was going to look into that. Yeah. Because that was interesting. It's like, that was the location where I learned about tarot cards. And it seemed like there was one of them just right there. So it's, it's like somewhere upstairs? Barely Illegal is a worrying name. Oh, we have an elevator. There we go. I was wondering if there was a way to get inside that building. Because a lot of them are just kind of for show only. That's trippy.
the world. The world lies at the end of the fool's long and winding journey. Wiser and more world-weary than he started out, the fool faces a moment of reckoning. Some of us accept where our journey has led us to, while others embark on a new challenge. One thing in this world is certain. You can't have it all. So there's 20 of these waiting out here somewhere. Wait, what was that menu? Oh, this. 2010, 5%. Is this my progress through three different missions or something? Hard reset. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. What matters now is you're still alive. When there's life, there's hope. You've got no choice now but to get back in the game and up the stakes. Breaking the ice. Johnny Silverhand has unfinished business in Arasaka. Problem is, he's a prisoner in your head and can't even lift a finger. Now he wants you to work together. Scratch his back and you'll save your life, according to him. But can he be trusted? The countdown. Bad news from Vic. The biochip's going to gradually kill you by overriding your mind with another neural network. The result? Your, conscience, your consciousness will be wiped and you'll cease to exist. Seems there's no clue how to stop it. Or if it's even possible. But you won't give up without a fight. Evelyn Parker, Anders Hellman, Arasaka. You have to track down every lead you can to make it through alive. So what do these percentages mean? Is that just my current three quests? Double life, down the street, ghost town. Those are none of those words. Okay. I can see it as like a progress tracker of two of your objectives, like this is Silverhand's objective, which is to take down Arasaka, and this is your objective, which is to survive. But there's a third one that sounds vague, and it's hard to, to separate the meanings of them. I guess the idea is that there's three parallel storylines that, that make up the main story right now or something, and that must be the, the tracking for them. Randomly traced, yep, just randomly placed crafting items. Ah. So you can, you can see the auto disassembling happening because every time I pick up a random piece of junk, it gets disassembled. It's, yeah, it says looted, removed, looted, removed. And so each piece of junk gets automatically disassembled and periodically you see, yeah, there it is. Plus eight experience for crafting. The Solo's Manual by Morgan Blackhand. Think you got what it takes to be a legendary solo, huh? Sure you do. Otherwise, why pick up this book? You're looking for respect, for fear, for a way to be on top. Maybe you heard someone quote me about winning battles with only a glance before a single shot's been fired. Well, fine. I'll let you on in a secret. It is possible. And you can do it, too but only if you got the guts to survive going to hell and back more times than you can count. Thousands of fights, millions of bullets, hundreds of gallons of blood, yours included. That's what you have to look forward to, and you'll need a solid ripper, one you can trust, one you can make a long, a lifelong chumbata out of. <laughs> sounds like, it just sounds like, it just sounds like a uh, job with the hut speaking sometimes. One who tells you every week, it's a miracle you ain't dead by now. At least that's what he'll say if you're lucky. Nowadays, every kid with big iron, a synth leather, leather coat, and a micro-missile launcher thinks they're a hot shot solo. But you know what? Just because you killed a few goons with a smile on your lips, don't make you one. Anyone can kill. I knew this rocket. I knew this rocker boy once who blew up a whole fucking platoon of carpo, corpo trash. Did that make him a solo? No. It made him dead. So, think you still got what it takes to carve your name into solo history? Good. Then this book's for you. Oh, there's a few of these up here. Basil Bub's tales to his grandson? Even before our arrival, Many beings in Babylon had lost their minds over this subject, while many others were inching closer to the same fate. 
the burning question of the day, the question that racked the brains of both pitiful scientists and normal beings of Babylon was this. Do we have a soul or not? There are all sorts of the most fantastic theories on this subject, with new ones appearing all the time, and each and every one of the tempting hypotheses has its supporters. Despite the overwhelming number of diversity of these beliefs, they are all based on one or two completely opposing premises. The first was called atheism, while the other was called idealism or dualism. Old dualistic hypotheses held the soul existed and, of course, that it was immortal, immortal and could suffer many things even after the death of the being. Meanwhile, the uh, atheistic theories held the complete opposite view. In short, my boy, when we came to Babylon, we came upon what we could only, what could only be called constructing the Tower of Babel. Beats. Nobody throws shit out in this universe. I'm just really... St and there's just like a the painting here. Just like a paint next to the Nightmare Old Foods containers. Why is the... How'd the painting get here? What's the deal? I guess I'm just finding these and jamming them in my neck canonically, aren't I? Like these are just little like wallets being abandoned everywhere that themselves just have a chip lying in them and that chip just has one text document on it which is a really inefficient way of storing data in the future and so on. But then I'm just like trustingly picking these up and jamming them in my neck because those are the chips you put in your neck, they're shards. And I'm just like hope this isn't malware that murders me instantly. Whee! 